Darth Vader, born Anakin Skywalker, was found on Tatooine 42 years before the Battle of Yavin. When Qui-Gon found him, he sensed a high concentration in the boy's force abilities. And because of that, Jin freed the boy and took him to the Jedi Temple, where he would go on to learn under Obi-Wan Kenobi after his death. Snowdrop was born 20 years before Luna's turn to the dark side. Snowdrop was not blind at first, but after a tragic accident, she was blind. The doctors thought that she wouldn't survive for more than a day with her blindness, but Snowdrop would deny that. She would go to a hearing school and learn how to hear rather than see. She would be able to hear where she was going. And she could navigate her way perfectly, even though she was blind. Snowdrop became one of the most greatest and most navigating ponies in, in all of Equestria. However, after Snowdrop tried to comfort Luna one night, Luna just snapped at her. And then Snowdrop later died after marrying some pony of her own and having children of her own and watching her grandchildren grow up and then she passed away. She lived longer than usual. She lived to be 50. That just proved that just Snowdrop was the greatest and most good pony in the all of Equestria despite being blind. Darth Vader stood over six feet tall in his suit. Because of his cybernetics, he was at first slow and clumsy in his huge suit. But however, after a few weeks and months, Vader would go on to unionize his suit and flex with it rather than against it, crafting himself into a nightmare. The Emperor's Wrath. Snowdrop, after death, she literally could see once more. One night, when Luna wished for her to come back, she came back as a friendly and happy ghost. And she swore on once every year, on the Christmas day, Snowdrop would come back again as a happy and friendly ghost to others. before crying tears after Christmas Day ended and disappearing. Luna took this <coughs> opportunity seriously and organized Christmas after she had woken up because it was nearing Christmas because it was snowing time. However, after Dinky died, Snowdog came back indefinitely. She went after Naysay and she was not happy. But yet, she was still good. She was just a little bit mad at Naysay. But she had no idea that another ghost truck was in existence. 612. She had no idea that 612 worked for them, but unintentionally. And yet, when Snowdrop went to Naysay, she was able to contend with his EEA battalion despite him being faster and more focused. She was a ghost. She could move faster and much more flexible. She was an inch from him and spared him with a warning to never touch my family again. Snowdrop said today, sir. And Snowdrop was about four feet tall plus about six inches. Even though she wasn't physical anymore, she could still inflict harm on bad ponies as well. If Darth Vader and Snowdrop ever came together, who would win? I might as well just analyze their fighting techniques to see who would win.
Darth Vader having to craft his Form 5 technique into his Yoon suit, he incorporated the forms of Form 7, Form 4, Form 5, and then Form 8. I mean, and then Form 3 as well. And even Form 2. Darth Vader, even by Palpatine standards, could actually beat him if he got angry enough. Snowdrop, using a bit of a full speed or something, was able to go faster than Chancellor Nase's speed medallion as well, or EEA medallion, that could usually catch any pony even in our core. So he was surprised at her unique speed. Even Luna was shocked at how powerful Snowdrop became. She was faster and much more of a threat to bad ponies as well. She became a hero when she did save Naysay from 612. When 612 came back after Snowdrop left Naysay alone for good and swore to protect him. And actually defeated 612 and stopped him for good. But yet Naysay died soon afterward. It broke Snowdrop even more to the point of her becoming the official ghost of a question, but not like 6012, nothing like him. She was still kind to others, but whenever she would see a bad pony, she would snap almost in an instant, but not in front of Luna. This one is tricky. Snowdrop has an astounding speed. But yet Vader could contend with speed because he had his own speed. So I don't know how, but I think I'm gonna have to give the slightest advantage and edge to Snowdrop for her speed abilities. Darth Vader was able to contain with speedy opponents, but he would never be able to contain with opponents like his, such as Palpatine or Yoda. Yet Snowdrop was more than capable. But yet she would never unleash her full power on the Vader unless if she was pushed to desperate measures. So, S Snowdrop's lightsaber technique would be based off of his own, because like Vader, she could probe the minds of others. She even probed the mind of Naysay and saw into his deepest memories of his dark past, twisted and dark, which horrified her and made her want to leave him alone for good. And swore to protect him. So this one's also tricky. Vader had more experience, but Snowdrop was over a thousand plus years old if you consider her lifespan as a ghost. But again, Snowdrop has never heard of a lightsaber duelist before, so I'm gonna have to give the slightest advantage to Vader for his physical or for his lightsaber skills. <laughs> Snowdrop did have physical abilities as she literally caught up with Naysay's truck and lifted it and flew it across the world. 
crushing it in the instant with her own mind and her hooves. Or at least what you could call the left of them. As Nase said, in quote, she was stronger and faster than magic itself. I could not contend with her. She's more powerful than I could ever imagine. Stronger and more faster. I'm afraid that this EEA medallion can't deal with a ghost pony like her. Just imagine what Celestia's ghost would be like. And Snowdrop was faster than Celestia, as Nase quoted later on. And she even had a little bit of a strength ability of her own. She would be able to use that against Vader. But unlike Vader, however, she didn't have any mini chlorians. She had zero mini chlorians in her ghost form. All she had was her strength and mind. She could tap into the force. With her fake midichlorians, but they were nowhere near as powerful as real ones. She could still tap into the power, but she could still tap into it. But yet the rest of her power is beyond her reach. Vader, on the other hand, had the highest midichlorian count ever. But like I said before, after his... After his crippling feat with Obi-Wan Kenobi and Christopher, he was crippled to only 20% less of the Emperor's maximum power. So basically 10,000 mini colonies per count. Yet Snowdrop had a count of 20,000 fake mini colonies per cell. Considering one of her mini colonies is half as powerful as the other, I could base on a rough estimate that she's just as powerful as Vader, but slightly less. But her abilities, compared to Vader's, is half as big again. This is tricky. Snowdrop had a high mini cloning count, but yet they were fake. So were half as powerful as they used to be, or they could be, if she was real and physical in the body. Vader had real physical limbs, mechanical limbs, but he would not be able to contend with the likes of Gain and Merrick, or Sidious, or Yoda, or a younger Obi-Wan Kenobi. So this one's tricky. Snowdrop was said to be stronger and faster than Celestia. But even she can't contend with Vader's cybernetic limbs. Then again, I am gonna have to give the slightest advantage to Snowdrop for her force and strength abilities instead. This one's very tricky. This score goes to a 6 out of 10 in one victor. I'm going to set up this fight. Let's say for fun it takes place in Death Star 1 in the Emperor's throne room. White right Regan and Merrick attacked Vader. And it would be for a good reason. Darth Vader had kidnapped Luna to lure Snowdrop out. Because Dinky was gone, Palpatine said, Darth Vader, I sense a powerful presence is approaching. I sense it too, my master. Vader said with a commanding and toned voice, But this power is something else beyond our work abilities. This power is from a ghost pony. I don't know the name, but I know the gender. A girl. My master. I sense her name is Snow something. Wait. 
I sense her name is Drop. Last name. Her name is Snowdrop. Of course, my master. She has a mini chlorine count of 20,000 per cell. What? But yet, she's a ghost, so her mini chlorines are half as powerful as yours. Meaning as in, one mini chlorine in her body is half as powerful as one real mini chlorine. So, doing the math, she's half as powerful as she could be. Just like you, Vader. You have to capture Luna to lure her out. I sense that Luna is a great friend of hers. Of course, my master. <sighs> Vader set out to stop. I mean, Vader set out to capture Luna. It was pretty easy when he force choked all of the royal guards and did a few mind tricks on others. Just for fun's sake. When he approached the phone room, he force choked Celestia and did a mind trick on her saying, You are very sleepy, Celestia. Oh, I'm very sleepy. You will sleep right here. I will sleep right here. <laughs> what the? What have you done with my sister? Luna demanded. But then her demands slowly, instantly stopped when she saw the horrified black figure. Darth Vader activated his lightsaber. Luna got her gear very quickly and attacked Vader, but yet she was, but yet she was too weak for him. Darth Vader forced her to Luna and did the mind trick on her that she was asleep as well and took her to Palpatine alive. Excellent, Vader. Now this snow job will come after us. Quickly, put her in a imprisonment thing. I know how to weaken an alicorn. She hit right by the horn, and wings, and legs. Give her a bit of a... little imprisonment, is what I mean. Of course, master. But where? In a moon environment. <laughs> of course, master. Ooh. I really didn't like that pony enemies. Vader did what Palpatine commanded, and did exactly what he did. <laughs> Lura's horn was useless, her wings were useless, and her limbs were useless. Vader got a protocol droid to do that little potion thing on her, but this time it could resist, but this time it could go straight through force users, and magic users as well. Lura woke up. <laughs> With freaking out on her face, and Vader said, You are on the moon, Luna. And then left. <laughs> All too easy. Alright, Vader, we wait for the snow job to come. Of course, my master. <laughs> oh, Lord Vader. Deal with the girl. Of course, master. been trained well, but you still have much to learn. You have nothing. You don't have anything to teach me. Snowdrop and Vader went at it, 
unleashing their moves and powers and force abilities and also heights as well. Snowdrop got the upper hoof until Darth Vader force pushed her and went through some gates. <clears throat> She continued battling Vader after following him and going straight through the gates, using her ghostly body to her advantage. Even though the gates closed, she went straight through them to Vader's shock on his face. <coughs> you know, Snowdrop, I sensed that you were blind before, but before that, you were able to see. I was able to see before I was blind, Vader. I will show you true mastery of the dark side," Vader said after Snowdrop had replied with that, and I'll show you the true power of the snowflakes. Ugh, really Snowdrop? Try this on for size. <laughs> oh! Ah! 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 Snowdrop released Force Lightning and went on at, at Vader, lightsabering his legs, not off, but only wounding them. S Vader felt nothing. Snowdrop got a bit mad, and when Vader tried to get something on her, she pushed it back and blinded him, and in an instant it was in front of him, and we pulsed him straight to the... well, straight beneath the huge can-like things and forced and dropped it on him with art with added force Go! Go! snowdrop jumped onto the platform with a huge funk vader kept on breathing but heavily Snowdrop lifted her hoof and Vader went flying into the air and then went back down again. Yes, kill him. He was weak. Broken. Kill him and you can take your rightful place at my side. No! Luna cried out after her interrogation fluids welded, welded off. made a split second decision kill Vader and go to Palpatine or kill or go straight pa or go straight to Palpatine go straight to Palpatine Snowdrop decided and she ran straight to Palpatine Palpatine stops electrocuting Luna Snowdrop told Luna to run run Luna Snowdrop gave all of her effort at Palpatine until he was tired out, and when he got distracted, she, she got the upper hoof and advantage and upper hand as well. <laughs> she literally pummeled Palpatine like he was a piece of stone, force pushing him up to the wall and knocking his head straight into the ground. But his skull was still remained in place. Uh, you were destined to destroy me. Do it. Give in to your hatred. Snowdrop was about to do it. But yet smiled. An utter smile. You know what, Palpatine? I am destined to destroy you. But not in anger, but in happiness. Zoom. 
Yo. <sighs> Come on, Luna. Let's leave. Snowdrop, thank you. I've wanted him dead for years. I'm, I'm sorry. He commanded me to. I want to be with Padme. Please, Snowdrop, kill me. Vader, no. Yes, Snowdrop. You've already beaten me. Oh, oh then Vader, I am gonna strike you down, but not in happiness, but in sadness. Thank you. And thereby I declare Snowdrop the winner and victor.